and thanks for joining us. First up at six, this man right there is on a mission to hunt down accused child predators, but he's not a cop. He's just a dad with a camera who confronts men when they show up to meet who they think is an underage teen. And his work has led to multiple arrests across the state. Chief investigative reporter Eric Ross has just learned that a Woodland Park man caught in one of those sting operations will likely be spending some time in prison. Woodland Park police arrested Robert Allen Elliott after he showed up to meet a 13 year old girl at a local Starbucks. On camera, Elliott says he had no intentions of having sex with a minor. He was just looking for a friendship. Well, since that summer confrontation between a Colorado dad and Elliott, we've learned he has pleaded guilty to internet luring of a child, a class four felony. And our investigation found this isn't his first run in with the law. You're here to meet a 13 year old. Let's let's stop. Yeah, right. Okay. You knew you were meeting a 13 year old. You've already been arrested for this before, correct? Yeah. Over the last year, Thomas Fellows has confronted dozens of alleged predators. He recently traded in his window washing job to expose men looking to have sex with minors after he says his son was molested. Fellows goes on dating apps, posing as a minor, and when the men ask to meet up, he shows up camera in hand. How quickly after the conversation starts do these men want to meet up? Uh, sometimes 30 minutes. Sometimes it's a couple days. Sometimes it's, you know, conversation, nude photos, meeting. Literally within 30 minutes, I've met several of these guys. That quick? That quick, yes. How far are you willing to travel to catch these predators? Um, we've gone as far as Atlanta, but locally, I will go as far as Colorado Springs. I do a lot of Broomfield, Denver. I mean, I will go 100 miles from from my area. Fellows and his camera crew drove to Woodland Park back in June after chatting online with Robert Allen Elliott, a 42-year-old man who showed up to meet who he thought was going to be a 13-year-old girl. I'm not a predator. <laughs> do you know what a predator is? One that actually goes and tries to have sex with these people. This is what you were trying to do. Elliott said he had no intention of having sex with a minor. He was just looking for friends. Woodland Park police were called out and Elliot was arrested right on scene. Our investigation uncovered at the time of this arrest, Elliot had an active criminal case out of Colorado Springs for the exact same thing. He's set to enter a plea in that case next week. As for this bust, he's already pleaded guilty to a class four felony and faces anywhere from two to six years behind bars. Fellows says he has no plans to stop exposing alleged predators and believes the work he does is making the internet a little bit safer for children and teens who may be easily lured into a dangerous situation. What you do sparks two different reactions. You're gonna have people who say, go get them and expose these guys. And you will have some people who say, this guy's crazy, he's not law enforcement. You're showing up to the rodeo without a badge or backup. Honestly, um, I, I, they need to put themselves in my shoes. Until you have a child that's been through this, they, they have no room to talk. I mean, I've gone through this. Um, my son now is 21, so I've gone through 10 years of the pain he had to go through. So it's worth it to me to get out there and maybe stop this from happening to even one child. Following his guilty plea in the Woodland Park case, Elliot will be sentenced on Monday and we'll be sure to let you know what happens. Meanwhile, Fellows is still out there confronting alleged predators on his YouTube channel and we have more of his takedowns posted on our website at KOAA.com. Reporting in studio, I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross. Thank you. A tip